In motorsports, Formula One is king. Speed, technology, and fierce competition aren't the only reasons why, though. It's a global sport. From Australia to Monaco, Singapore to Brazil, every year F1 takes its TV audience of almost 500 million people all around the world. And in 2005, Formula One added some more international action to the mix with the Turkish Grand Prix. I hope our new F1 track won't let us down and give Turkey something to be proud of. We are looking forward to proving the circuit and Istanbul is ready to host the race. Istanbul definitely passes the eye exam. And sporting-wise, the city has never fallen short of big moments. Liverpool's miracle in Istanbul comes to mind. The 2005 Champions League final is widely considered to be one of the competition's best ever. So much so that football fans are already looking forward to this season's decider, which will take place at the Atatürk Olympic Stadium once again. The Turkish GP's track was designed to provide the same kind of competition, with excitement and unpredictability at every turn. It's a lot of fun, you know, there's a lot of undulation, so it's going down and going up a lot, um, a lot of rises, and uh, there's a lot of blind spots into corners, so you're braking before you can see the corner. You know, for the drivers, it's gonna be one of the most exciting circuits. And it was, mostly for Ferrari's Felipe Massa, but that fun only lasted seven races. Between 2005 and 2011, the Turkish Grand Prix had been shaping up to be one of the staples on the F1 calendar. There were V10 cars, challenging rainy races, and even inner team controversies. And it seemed like more action would be on the way, until it got too expensive for Istanbul to host the race. Formula One and Istanbul Park weren't on the same page starting in 2012. The annual cost of around $20 million was just too much. Fast forward to 2020, COVID-19 ravaged F1 season, multiple GPs were cancelled and the sport needed racetracks to fill in its calendar. That meant the Turkish Grand Prix would be coming back, albeit temporarily. We signed a one-year contract for this year because of the pandemic as the conditions differ. Once this race is successfully completed without a hitch, I can say that both sides are willing to turn this into a long-term contract. Whether or not Formula One's return to Istanbul Park is permanent, one thing is certain. All signs point to another exciting weekend of sporting glory in Turkey. Talha Duman, TRT World.